What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. Good morning. <laughs> welcome back welcome back to um another video you guys another gardening video um i just wanted to give that a little update on my mini garden um we have secured the area where we well not secured i mean this is my yard <laughs> i have figured out where i want to place my garden and what I'm gonna do and all that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like before we actually turn it into my vision <laughs> and show y'all some sprouts because we got some sprouts going on. So I'm super, super excited y'all because you know, I'm new to this whole gardening thing and yeah, I tried to grow some stuff in the past without success, but we definitely have some sprouts. So. Let me take you on over to my little garden area and show y'all what's going on. Okay, this is where the garden is going to be, you guys. You see, I get a lot of morning sun over here. This, what we have over here, is just temporary because we are trying to grow the seedlings, as you know. So, I pretty much dug up all the dirt over here. I dug up all the crabgrass. Um, not all of it. I have still have to go underneath the table and dig up the rest over there but i didn't want any weeds um you know to be in this area and i'm gonna lay down some of that um black i forget what it's called but it's like this black fabric stuff and then i'm gonna lay my mulch and stuff down to make this like a true garden area so i'm going to lowe's in a little bit to go get all my stuff and my white picket fence and all that good stuff <laughs> So under here we have compost bins. I'm gonna try my hand at making some compost. This is already filled with compost, store-bought compost, and I added some earthworms in there. This one is going to be um, one that we make. So right now there's just a few sticks in there, but yeah, we gotta get that going. So anyway, here's the mini garden. As you can see, our mammoth sunflowers are doing super well, super, super well. Um, we have some zucchini. I don't know if you can see them there's actually two of these guys uh oh I'm too close there's two of these guys in here let me raise this up maybe y'all can see a little better there's two guys in there one is kind of covered but here's the other one is like right here and you can see the green one there um nothing over here just yet oh I do no, do I see a sprout no that's not a sprout nothing over here yet we have our watermelon and this plant which is doing super super well we have two sprouts there yep spinach has come up let me back up a little spinach has come up nothing in that watermelon yet nothing in the sweet peppers yet nothing with the tomatoes just yet um let's see we do have some lettuce growing here so the black seeded Simpson lettuce is growing. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything else coming up. This is bell pepper mix. I don't see anything coming up here. Cucumber, no. My soil is really moist. Nope, nothing back here just yet. I'm hoping the sun will um, do something for everything today. We've had rain and dreary skies for a few days so i had them covered because i didn't want them to drown but i have been watering them um you know in the meantime just so they can still have some water so i'm super excited because we'll be repotting soon the sunflower and the watermelon are gonna be repotted soon let's go over to the herb garden and y'all, it's such a mess back here. I hate this red clay um, soil mud or whatever we have here in Georgia. I'm going to get me some boots. All right. So over here, we have oregano, cilantro. The oregano is sprouting. You can see the little green sprouts. 
cilantro is trying to do something you can see the little sprouts there it's so exciting so I don't know if these other ones are going to do anything or not. These were the originals that I had potted. Anything that does not have a date on it was like the original um, seeds that I started. Nothing happening over here with the chives yet. And nothing happening back here yet. So it's only been, what, three days since we planted the... Um, everything with the dates on them it's been about three days so nothing yet and plus like i said there was, was bad weather no sun rainy 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 so this is my little garden area and yeah y'all get to see me transform this area into like a really cute little garden area so yeah, and I'm thinking about, I was going to start at that pole there, but I'm thinking maybe bringing it over just a little bit. It's a little, I have a feeling I'm going to need a little bit more space. So I'm thinking in the middle between these two poles is where I'll start and then bring it on over to here. So let's go to Lowe's. Okay, so I'm back from Lowe's. I did not get to vlog in the store. It was just crazy. So I got 10 bags of brown mulch. I did get their um, soil that they had on sale, buy three, get three free. I got four trellises and then I also got a gorilla cart, which is on the other side of this mulch. So I'm getting ready to unload the car and um, put together this um, gorilla cart so that I can bring the mulch around to the back. Yeah. Okay, so this is as far as we got with the <laughs> gorilla cart. This is a lot to assemble, y'all. So I'm going to leave it to my husband to do. Um, in the meantime, my sons um, carried the mulch to the backyard for me. So it's out there waiting. And um, the potting soil as well, with the garden soil as well. So it's all in the backyard anyway. So we'll just use this um, for when we're done if we have any extra to haul it around and stuff like that so all right back to the backyard okay so we have our garden soil here and we have all our mulch and everything over there i had to move the table out so i can clear out the rest of the crabgrass and then hubby is gonna come and sprinkle or spray rather um the stuff that kills the the weeds so he'll be he'll be doing that probably tomorrow but i'm gonna go ahead and do my thing in the meantime um oh my thing blew off yeah so i need to get out here now the sun is not as intense as intense as it was earlier so i can start working now so i'm gonna do that all right you guys so i'm kind of at a standstill for the moment i started putting stuff down and i realized that i don't have enough of that black thing that I don't know what you call that stuff but I don't have enough of that that's all I had left so I have to go to Walmart to pick up some more of that stuff but I'm gonna go later so what I'm gonna do now is just plant some more seeds <laughs> that I have picked up um, I'll definitely want to do some companion planting so I want to plant some of those seeds now and I actually I, well, as you see, I laid the, st the thing down, so I dug up the rest of the crabgrass that was over there, and I'm about to go and take that out. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a pile like right there. That whole pile is crabgrass, so I'm about to open the fence and throw that on the other side of the fence and um, go and start potting. See, I brought my containers out. I'm going to start getting them ready with the compost and the potting soil for the watermelon. When I get ready to repot those, I just want to go ahead and get the soil in there. You know, now that I have these bags of soil, I don't want them just sitting out here on the the slab like that. So, yeah, but um, I'm going to go, yeah, to Walmart to get that stuff. And then hopefully, and then the sun will be kind of going down a little bit. It won't be so intense. And I can um, put that, put the mulch down. <laughs> so, it'll be between today and tomorrow, though. So, Okay, you guys, so we are all done for the day. Um, didn't really get as much done as I 
would have liked to have gotten done. Um, but that big trip to the store was, you know, I didn't need to go to the store to get all the stuff. But my son went to go get the black fabric. I don't know what it's called. Weed stopper fabric. I don't know. But um, my son went to go get the weed fabric for me to lay down um, so I can put the mulch down. So I won't be able to get to that project until tomorrow. But in the meantime, I did go ahead and plant some more seeds. The seeds that I had bought, I didn't plant everything. I think I had bought maybe about six to maybe eight more packs of new seeds. And so I wanna, um, I wanted to start, you know, planting those. So let me show you guys real quick what it looks like so far. You know, my setup for tomorrow. I'm all ready to lay more of that fabric down and like kind of put my stuff in order. Ooh, I'm all out of frame and put my stuff in order. So let me show y'all what it looks like. Alright, so like I said, not much was done. Um, this is what I planted today. I just finished. So a lot of these are going to be like companion plants to what has already been planted. So I've been doing some research and talking to my cousin and stuff like that. And um, you need companion plants that will keep away bugs. So like basil will keep away bugs, the marigolds and the petunias, also mescaline, mescaline, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like a lettuce type of thing that also keeps bugs away. So I have to do a few more companion um, planting things. I'm not quite sure just yet, but I haven't even, you know, transferred anything into containers yet. So I'm really, really getting ahead of myself. I just, I don't know, I'm just falling in love with planting these seeds and watching these seedlings grow. Here's one more look at what we've got going on. We've got that lettuce really sprouted. That sun was really helping it today. Um, the sunflower, you see it's getting its true leaves. But that little sunflower seed shell will not pop off zucchini still sprouting up nicely our watermelon back there is doing very very well we have two sprouts hopefully you can see that spinach sprouted more today that's doing good i'm not sure what's up with this watermelon here and my tomatoes and my peppers none of my peppers are showing any signs of life cucumber i did see a sprout on my cucumber I'm not sure where it is right now, and I just fixed my netting, so I don't want to take this off because I'm pretty much done for the day, like I said. Um, the zucchini and the lavender back there, no signs of anything yet. Um, what else? Collards, and like I said, the peppers, there's no activity yet either over here, and of course, those are pepper over there too, so yeah, we're still watching stuff. Let's move over to the herb garden. And these are also more companion plants as well. Um, even though this is stuff that I wanted to grow anyway, I found out that these are also companion plants. But nothing in the big pot as yet. Um, I did see, okay, so oregano is sprouting. I want to say I saw, yeah, cilantro is sprouting. Can you see the bends there in the top? cilantro sprouting and I think that was it for over here um nothing yet with the chives We're still waiting on those so yeah guys that is it so hopefully we will see some sprouts in a couple of days um according to the seed packages it takes about three to five days for some of these to sprout so yeah I'm excited to see what happens I'm gonna have some sun for the next three days as well so I'm super excited about that, but we'll see. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned because we are not done. This is just the beginning. All right, y'all. Okay, before I go, so recap of what we did today. We went to Lowe's, we got the mulch, we got the gorilla cart, which hubby put together, by the way, it's all, it's all set, but it's in the garage. Um, I got my garden soil, I found some, we went in the backyard, like behind the fence, and we got the sticks to start our other compost bin, 
And so we have, let me show y'all real quick because I didn't even go over that part today. But this is one of the things that I had on my list of things to do and to start. The garbage was like collecting in the house. And yeah, they were sick of, it was getting to be too much. So I had to get it out of there. So anyway, here it is. These are gonna be my compost bins. This bin right here is filled with compost that I've already bought from the store. So it's already ready to go compost. But this is gonna be the compost that we're making. And so we just put all our scraps in there. There's sticks on the bottom, you know, our kitchen scraps and some soil. So I, of course I'll have to add to that with some paper um, and some green stuff in there and some more brown as well. So yeah, that's that. So that was done today. Um, we also um, planted some new seeds today. We drilled the holes in all these buckets, planted new seeds. And yeah, and that's it. Oh, and we got our space ready for the garden, the actual garden area. So we did a little bit today. It was more like running around, I guess, and prep work more than anything. Um, not having that black fabric really kind of put me behind. I thought, really thought I had more than what I had. So, but yeah, tomorrow's another day. I will be up bright and early tomorrow um, to start this project because I'll have it by tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Here is the cart. He was able to bring it around. We're cleaning out the garage and putting stuff in the shed. So this is the cart and he is getting ready for lawn stuff. So that's what all this stuff is in the cart. But yeah, this is going to help out. It's a wheelbarrow cart. And it's really tough and sturdy. And we like it a lot. So yeah, that's it. Alright, so thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next vlog. Alright, bye.